What are the essential elements of a contract? In today's video, we will look at the key elements of a contract like identification, rights and obligations, and termination. Hi there, I'm Jacqueline from JotForm. We've got some great information for you today, so let's get right to it. What is a contract? A contract is an agreement between two parties that instigates legally enforceable obligations. For contracts to be binding, they must contain certain essential elements. These elements are the identification of the parties, the purpose of the agreement, a detailed statement of the rights and obligations of each party, what each party is providing in exchange for what they are receiving, the term length of the agreement, termination rights, liabilities of the parties if they have a dispute, a signature, and many other provisions. Today, we will use the example of a homeowner hiring a contractor to remodel their kitchen. Remember, these are examples and are not meant to be relied upon in your contract. First, to list the parties, you would write, this agreement is between John D. Homeowner, Homeowner, and Acme Construction Incorporated, Acme, for remodeling work to be done at 123 Maple Street, Anytown, USA. Next, state your rights and obligations such as, Acme will remodel homeowner's kitchen, including replacing and installing the cabinets, countertops, sink, oven, stove, and faucet. Acme will use commercially best efforts to complete the work by X date, the completion date. Homeowner will make the home available during weekday hours from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Then you will state what each party is giving, such as Acme will complete the remodel by the agreed upon completion date and will perform the work and materials installation according to industry standards and best practices. Homeowner will pay Acme $10,000 for the labor, consisting of an upfront payment of $5,000 to be paid at the start of the work and the remaining $5,000 to be paid when the work is complete. Homeowner may pay Acme by check. Homeowner will also order and pay for materials, and Acme will pick up the materials from each provider. Next, you will define the term of the agreement. This agreement shall begin on the date the second of the two parties here to signs it and shall end when the work is complete. For a contract break, there are termination rights such as ACME may terminate this agreement on 30 days written notice if homeowner's check for the initial payment is returned by the bank for insufficient funds or if homeowner fails to obtain and pay for the materials. Homeowner may terminate this agreement at any time before ACME begins work, but not thereafter unless ACME commits a material breach of this agreement. Then you will define your obligations should something go wrong. In this example, it will likely be on ACME's side, so you might state, ACME shall correct any mistakes in the labor within 30 days if in homeowner's commercially reasonable opinion, it negatively affects the cosmetic, functioning, stability, use, or safety of the kitchen. Homeowner shall pay ACME in cash within three days if either check bounces. And you will address what will happen in the event of a dispute. For this, you may write, in the event of a dispute between the parties that cannot be resolved within 30 days, the parties shall mediate the dispute using an American Arbitration Association arbitrator, with each party paying their own expenses. If the mediation does not resolve the matter, the party shall submit the dispute to AAA for binding arbitration. There are many more parts in a contract, but this example can provide an idea of what some of the key provisions look like. Lawyers spend years in law school learning how to properly draft a contract in a way that ensures it is enforceable, but you do not have to. Luckily for you, JotForm allows you to create contracts with just a few clicks. We recommend that you touch base with your lawyer before using a form contract to determine that it covers the necessary basis. There are so many contracts, too many to list here, but 
If you would like to see a selection, visit JotForm's website to see which form contracts are available. And keep an eye out because we're always adding new ones. Before we wrap up, let's recap. In order to create a valid contract, it must contain several elements. Some of these elements are the identification of the parties, the rights and obligations of the parties, what each party is providing, the length of the term agreement, contract termination rights, obligations and rights if something goes wrong, and how will you resolve any disputes? I'm glad you can join us today. Again, I'm Jacqueline from JotForms signing off.